so I can't fix that video quality except by shelling out a bunch of money on a camera. And I don't want to do that. I've got bills to pay. I would like to apologize, though, that it's so blurry and you can't really see me. <laughs> I'm on here to talk about something. Um, I wanted to take credit, ultimately, for the fact that I personally, I went and, you know, I shelled out 800 bucks and sent it over Bitcoin over the blockchain to Xenol Pointer, who is a pen tester, red teamer, who is literally trying to uh, see the PlayStation 5 jailbroken. I, at the time, they were being hoarded, and I sent him the money to buy one off of eBay, off one of these goddamn scalpers. You know, that decides, you know, they're doing the same thing I'm doing. I shouldn't criticize them so much. I'm an opportunist just like they are. I, I do the same shit. I would do the same shit. You know, if I had that kind of money, I would definitely buy up more than one and try to sell them off. Uh, I'm not above that kind of behavior, but that's what happened. And I decided to help uh, him out and gave him significantly more than the uh, manufacturer suggested retail price so that he could get it from one of those profiteers. I gave him all that money because I had it laying around in crypto and I was like, what a better purpose but to donate a fucking PlayStation 5 to somebody that's trying to, you know, help the scene out and is known is known in a big way for, you know, disclosing uh, their bug reports and everything and their bug bounty reports to the scene and not really um, just keeping them closed off and... So somebody just dropped, you know, just recently within the past couple of days, I went and sent him another $50. And I know there are censors who like think that he's a con artist now because he's been given so much at this point. But, you know, sometimes in the tech space, like you start off in one thing and, you know, the projects have a way of ballooning beyond their initial expectation, expires expense. And there is often mission creep when it comes to technology. I and mean, I've run into this myself i went recently and i bought like a, a raspberry pi right i thought that it would come with all the things that you needed for it but then i realized i had to go out and buy you know not only a mini hdmi to hdmi converter but also the power supply to the damn thing that was not you know an enjoyable thing and I, you know i had to go and do all those things to get the damn thing up and running and to actually be able to interact with my, my raspberry pi you know, so I have the cable in here, you know, I haven't yet gotten around or acted on that project, but it's just an example of what happens. You may, for instance, one day decide that you want to go install Kali Linux and then realize that it doesn't work with most, most, uh, most, uh, networking cards and have to go out and buy a USB based networking card to actually work with some of the Wi-Fi hacking, you know, stuff. This just happens in the space of technology. It's just... A thing that that happens especially when it comes to hacking you know you, you think that it's going to be it's going to cost one thing and then the cost end up over ballooning beyond what your initial expectations ultimately were to get involved in the project that you want to put together and it sucks but it's it's the reality and so there are these degraded um you know uh processors that kind of lost the silicon lottery you know, these AMD processors, and from what we understand, like, the PlayStation 5 is, like, based on BSD, you know, and everything, like, some behind-the-scenes sort of stuff that are that are happening on the PlayStation 5, like, you know, under, underneath the surface of all of it, you know, it's... So, you know, knowing what we know about it and knowing what, what what's available to us already, the boot ROMs just dropped and that's going to be a significant thing. And so I've been emailing him, but you know, just recently that was months and months ago that I gave him the money. I just recently sent him another 75 bucks via his wish list. And if you wanted to see a play, a hypervisor exploit, which is the last little leg of the journey to get around all of this i would encourage you to do likewise um i will send a i will put a link in the underbar to his thing I, i'm not you know like personally like i'm this video and everything i'm I, I i'm just encouraging you i don't really care if you actually follow through it's okay if you say no but any little bit will help 
ultimately in this journey. And so, you know, if you want to, if you really are sincere and you want to see, uh, uh, you know, the, the PlayStation five fully jailbroken and, you know, the ability to enable quote unquote backup play, then wink, wink, nudge, nudge, you know, uh, definitely, definitely, uh, you know, send him a few, a few dollars. That's all that I'm saying. Um, he's the one that's that's probably going to be the one that actually implements a, a, an exploit if anybody does, you know, but, you know, here we go. And anyways, that was, uh, thank you for your uh, six minutes of attention and uh, au revoir, which I'm probably drastically mispronouncing. Um, uh, you know, it's this is being put together at 10 p.m. So, oh, yes, see me in a sigh or not really, but you know bye bye good night and um have a nice night and you know if you're if you're uh watching this at night and you know otherwise you know whatever uh bye bye yeah